The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. On our arrival in Rome, Paul was allowed to stay in lodgings of his own with the soldier who guarded him. After three days, he called together the leading Jews. When they had assembled, he said to them, Brothers, although I have done nothing against our people or the customs of our ancestors, I was arrested in Jerusalem and handed over to the Romans. They examined me and would have set me free since they found me guilty of nothing involving the death penalty. But the Jews lodged an objection, and I was forced to appeal to Caesar, though not because I had any accusation to make against my own nation. That is why I have urged you to see me and have a discussion with me, for it is on account of the hope of Israel that I wear this chain. He spent the whole of the two years in his own rented lodging. He welcomed all who came to visit him, proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching the truth about the Lord Jesus Christ with complete fearlessness and without any hindrance from anyone. And our response is from Psalm 11. Yahweh in his holy temple. Yahweh, his throne is in heaven. His eyes watch over the world. His gaze scrutinizes the children of Adam. Yahweh examines the upright and the wicked, the lover of violence he detests. For Yahweh is upright and loves uprightness. The honest will ever see his face. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Peter turned and saw the disciple whom Jesus loved following them, the one who had leaned back close to his chest at the supper and had said to him, Lord, who is it that will betray you? Seeing him, Peter said to Jesus, What about him, Lord? Jesus answered, If I want him to stay behind till I come, what does it matter to you? You are to follow me. The rumor then went out among the brothers that this disciple would not die. Yet Jesus had not said to Peter, He will not die. But if I want him to stay behind till I come, this disciple is the one who vouches for these things and has written them down. And we know that his testimony is true. There was much else that Jesus did. If it were written down in detail, I do not suppose the world itself would hold all the books that would be written. The Gospel of the Lord.